Today's movie is a special request from Patreon supporter Steve Stretch, who asked me to review the movie Matango. Man, I really got behind on these Patreon requests, didn't I? Well, you know what? I'm doing them now because I am a guy who always keeps his word. Eventually. Well, I've done movies about killer slugs, killer hippies, killer children, and even killer teddy bears. So why not a movie about killer mushrooms? Matango is a 1963 Japanese horror movie made by Godzilla director Ishiro Honda based off the short story The Voice in the Night. Although it was originally released in North America under the much schlockier title of Attack of the Mushroom People, which almost sounds like a parody of old monster flicks. Now, it may seem like a weird idea to make a horror movie about killer mushrooms, and it is, but if anybody's able to make mushrooms scary, it's the Japanese. The same rule also applies for making them sexy. And personally, I think it's appropriate that there's a horror movie about the very thing you need to be on to truly enjoy it. So anyway, our story begins in Tokyo, looking like Blade Runner since the early 60s. This is the psychiatric ward. Yes, I know that. And you think that I'm insane, don't you? Well, you are apparently talking to nobody, so... Eh. All of my friends died. Every one of them. Then you want to know why they didn't return, don't you? I don't want to tell you the story. Just kidding, he actually does tell us. And considering what happened to him apparently killed all of his friends and drove him insane, it must be one hell of a story. Okay, I don't know why this guy was so reluctant to tell his story. Judging by the music, it sounds like it'll be fun. I don't know what these opening credits say, so I'm just gonna assume they're the lyrics to Gilligan's Island. Anyway, time to meet our characters. We've left everything behind. Everything? I mean everything that's horrible in Tokyo. You shouldn't talk that way, you know. Tokyo's a great city and it's full of life. Brought to you by the Tokyo Board of Tourism. So our main character is Kenji, who's on a yacht with some friends, and I'm assuming they're sailing into international water so they can all have an orgy. Unfortunately, one of the passengers seems to be feeling a little sick. I guess she's not used to being out in the deep blue screen like this. But hey, at least this cruise comes with some music. La, 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 la. Eh, the lyrics aren't as good as the King Caesar theme, but the tune's okay. And instead of finding Dory, this movie just decides to call her a hoe. By the way, the woman doing the singing is actress Kumi Mizuno, who you may recognize from some of my Godzilla videos. In fact, there's so many Godzilla actors in this movie, I think Haruo Nakajima might be playing the boat. Looks like they're about to run into some stormy weather, but that's not gonna stop everyone from getting shit-faced. You know, Skipper, they're strange people. They got more money than brains. More like reckless children. They'll be children no matter how old they get. Hey, take it easy, pal. Some people are able to make a decent name for themselves being overgrown children. Wait a second. People on a boat, Japanese monster movie, Godzilla actors. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for them. A giant claw! Yep, I knew it. All right, you know the procedure for abandoning ship, hose and children first. And don't look so worried, pal. In another Japanese movie, those wouldn't be ropes. Eventually, they manage to make it through the storm, and congratulations! You're the first people on a boat at the beginning of a Japanese monster movie who didn't immediately get killed. Unfortunately, they're drifting at sea. Hopefully the radio can tell them where they are. Ah, I love that gag. Even though I know this isn't a kaiju movie, I keep thinking they're gonna run into a giant monster out here. And this isn't a good sign. They haven't even got to the mushrooms yet, and this guy's already hallucinating. Sure hope they get rescued soon. When is this fog gonna break up, eh? That's not fog. You've all just been smoking indoors. Open a window, will ya? Things start looking up, though, when one of them spots the plot. Uh, I mean, an island. Hopefully they're able to find some food on this place. 
No, no, what are you doing? The movie's not called Attack of the Cherry Tomato People. Turns out the castaways weren't the only ones chain-smoking. By the looks of it, the natives on this island were blazing up a storm before they got here. Look at that. It's a ship. Oh, shit, don't tell me they just wandered into a Pirates of the Caribbean sequel. Or, wait, maybe it's the ship from the Lost Continent? That'll make sense. That movie was about killer weed. Figures it would also show up in a movie about killer mushrooms. Hmm, I don't know about this boat. By the looks of it, it is way past its expiration date. Carbolic acid. If we scrub the cabin with it, we could live here. Okay, not what my first thought would be, but sure, I guess you could live here. I mean, admittedly the place is a bit of a fixer-upper, but I guess it's better than nothing. You guys better get to work, though. It looks like a giant mushroom, huh? Yeah, either that or Treebeard's dick. Matango. Mmm, you know what, I would say title drop, but I'm gonna wait and see if somebody says Attack of the Mushroom People. Ugh, this whole place looks like my bathroom when I was going to college. And I don't care how hungry you are, it is not a good idea to eat anything you find on this ship. Especially if it's spam. Another rule for this ship, don't bogart that joint. So now that you've decided to stay here, what are you going to do now? And we know, from what the log says, that every day... Several men were sent out to gather edibles to add to their diet. Okay, the last thing you guys need right now is more drugs. Oh, and in case you don't think that's what they were talking about, this guy is so high, he hallucinates another musical number. Okay, actually this is a flashback, although I'm not sure why it's here other than to show that this girl borrowed her five-year-old sister's church clothes for a night on the town. Anyway, back to the story. Here. It's OG Kush, dude. It's good shit. And I know you're hungry, but I don't think it's a good idea to start eating glass. Weren't all the mirrors on the ship's missing? Yeah. These must be the ones. I wonder why they brought them up here and broke them. Hey, listen, speaking from experience, it is not a good idea to look in a mirror when you're on mushrooms. They also discover that several other ships have crashed on the island, which makes this movie a good PSA for why you should never drive high. Meanwhile, looks like the women have moved on to huffing cans of gasoline. Not sure why. This whole place is like if Skull Island had a basement. I'm sure I saw something. Yeah, I think you had a little too much, man. You're getting paranoid. Why don't you give me the gun? You can tell this guy's high as shit since he wears his sunglasses despite it being dark out. And that's not the only weird thing going on. Who is it? Oh, hey ladies, I thought you'd be asleep. I was just looking for the bathroom and totally not creeping on you. Anyway, guess I'll be on my way now. In addition to mushroom people, it looks like this island also has g, -g, -g ghosts Oh, never mind, it's just the girls. Besides, turns out mushrooms aren't the group's biggest problem since one of them's secretly a spam addict. Look at him, he's clearly going through meat withdrawal. Okay, actually there might be another problem. Ah! Oh shit, it's a mushroom person! What are they gonna do? Huh. Okay, that seemed to resolve itself pretty quickly. What in the hell's wrong with you guys? You think the ship is haunted? There's a reason for all this. Yeah, it's all the drugs you've been doing since you got here. I know what it is. It's these women. They're on your mind all the time, but you can't do anything about it. Or you could just blame your boner for everything, I guess. It's really bugging me. Tonight, I might decide to take her. All right, will somebody please kick this creep's ass? Are you going to let him get away with that? Or just act like nothing happened. Wouldn't want things to get awkward. Hey, Koyama. Are you sure we were seeing ghosts? Unless it was a ghost with a serious acne problem, I think it was probably something else. In any case, you should probably concentrate on finding some food. There's a lot of grass growing around here. Damn it, quit talking about drugs for a second! Thankfully, they do find a source of food on the island. Precious Gamera eggs. And if the mushrooms aren't doing it for you, just mix some random chemicals together. That'll probably give you a decent buzz. Tensions seem to be running a little high on this boat. In the Japanese version of Gilligan's Island, Gilligan snaps and threatens to shoot Mr. Howell. A man thinks strange things when he's out of his mind. 
His reality may be more fascinating than ours. And once again, he's also high out of his mind. While searching for food, one of the crew members decides to eat some of the wild mushrooms. Not sure why, the girls brought back plenty of petrified dog turds for them to eat. Hopefully these mushrooms don't have any side effects. Alright, apparently the mushrooms also act like Viagra. Okay, there might also be some other side effects. I'll kill you all. Okay, a few years ago I reviewed the movie Reefer Madness, but this movie should have been called Fungus Frenzy. And in case you think I'm exaggerating here... I ate mushrooms. I read in a book a long time ago that the Mexicans used to eat them. In order to enhance their perception and get a sense of well-being, the people who went out to gather the mushrooms danced in high spirits in the mountains and were in touch with the infinite. This guy is totally tripping balls right now. Thankfully, they're able to take the gun away and decide to lock him up. All right, jeez, I'm sorry I tried to shoot you, Captain Buzzkill. God. I don't know if they're going to be able to fix their yacht and get off the island. Just look at that shoddy craftsmanship. What, did you guys run out of duct tape? 24 cans of food left. Not much. Hey, how about just the two of us leaving? If we had potatoes and seaweed, we could last for a couple of weeks. I got a better idea. How about we all go, and when we run out of food, we'll just eat you. The weak restraints of society disintegrate in the face of the will to survive in harsh circumstances. Man's power must be turned into creative action. Okay, I gotta say, for a movie sometimes called Attack of the Mushroom People, this is a lot more introspective and moody than I was expecting. We're over an hour in, and so far the so-called mushroom people have mostly just been hinted at. Instead, most of the movie has been about the crew slowly becoming unglued and turning on each other as they realize they may never get off the island. It's actually closer to something like Lord of the Flies than a typical Japanese monster movie, just with way more opportunities for drug references. Speaking of which, sometimes you gotta go to extreme lengths to quit your spam addiction cold turkey. Sakura, he stole all the canned food and left us. What? Oh, he even took the SpaghettiOs! Okay, seriously, are they actually on the ship from the Lost Continent? I keep expecting conquistadors wearing balloons to show up at any minute. And who gave the gun back to the guy who tried to shoot everybody earlier? I'm gonna kill both of you. Just start walking down the deck and don't try to be heroes. I wonder how many times I've written something like this in my novels. You write novels about doing mushrooms and going on a killing spree? Okay, you got the gun back. Now do something about this weirdo, will ya? So go eat mushrooms. Yeah, as punishment for trying to kill you, kick them off your dingy, fungus-covered boat. That'll show them. Even though she's been stranded on a deserted island for several days, Kumi Mizuno's hair and makeup still looks great. And if you're feeling a little sad that she's gone, don't worry, she comes back. You're still alive. How did you do it? She's been gone like ten minutes. Jeez, I think all this rain is causing the island to become a little aroused. This Japanese adaptation of Alice in Wonderland is even weirder than I thought it would be. And what are you doing? Don't just eat the mushroom raw. It's much better to make a tea out of it and then drink that. So I've heard. Oh, and in case anyone thinks I'm going a little overboard with the drug references in this video... <laughs> This movie just went full pink elephants on us. I didn't tell you that once you've eaten it, you become a mushroom too. And once you start, you can't stop. Oh shit, the mushrooms are like Pringles chips of doom! Now you may be wondering, when are we gonna see some mushroom people attacking in this movie? Well... <laughs> Now I'm starting to think I might be on mushrooms. At this point, you might want to take your chances getting off the island, even if the boat isn't ready yet. <laughs> Damn, attacked by mushroom people. Where's a giant can of Tanactin when you need it? And again, this is a lot more intense than I thought a movie about killer mushrooms would be. <laughs> hey, don't be afraid. I'm a fun guy. All right, all right, I'm sorry. You're right, I apologize. Kenji's girlfriend gets kidnapped by the mushroom people, forcing him to have to go and find her. Okay, cool.
You know, if this movie wanted to convey the feeling of being on mushrooms and having a bad trip, it's doing a pretty decent job. Eventually, he does find a Kiko, and oh no, a Kiko, what are you doing? I said I wanted you to eat my mushroom cap. I don't know what the hell Kenji is so worried about. We already know he survives. This way, he'll just have a weird drug story to tell people. All right, time to get the hell out of this mushroom kingdom. I hardly remember when I was rescued. You know, I just realized, in the parts where Kenji's been telling the story, we haven't seen his face. I sense a twist coming on here. And then I lost her. I, I was confused. I, I couldn't decide what to do. And then... I ate them! Wait, so they know he's turning into a mushroom person, but they put him in a psych ward anyway? What did they think was happening to him? Eh, he's probably just got a bad case of eczema. Better lock him up. Before it ends, though, Kenji gives us a little message. Tokyo's not very different from that island. It's all the same. I would be happier living on that island than in this city. Brought to you by the Tokyo Board of Tourism. Tokyo, you'd rather be on an island full of mushroom monsters than here. Although it was shown on TV quite a bit in North America during the 60s and 70s, Tango soon fell into obscurity, and despite getting a DVD release in 2005, it's still mostly unknown outside of hardcore Japanese monster movie fans. It was also nearly banned from being released in Japan due to some of the movie's makeup resembling victims of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, because Japanese sci-fi never uses those as a basis for a movie. It's actually kind of a shame that this movie isn't more well-known, because honestly, it's a lot better than the title Attack of the Mushroom People would lead you to believe. The biggest problem is that it's pretty slow to get going. It takes the characters a while to get to the island, and even when they do, we don't see a mushroom person until the halfway point. Once it does get going, though, the movie does have a genuinely weird, creepy atmosphere, and it's a lot darker than you would think a movie like this would be. People who aren't fans of Japanese sci-fi movies might find this one a little strange, and it is. But if you like Ishiro Honda's other work and haven't seen this one, you might be pleasantly surprised. Well, I think I just reviewed the scariest movie about mushroom people ever made. As for what the sexiest one is, I don't know, but I'm sure I'll get to it eventually. Well, that's all for now. Until next time. What's up? Nothing. <laughs> uh, stop that.